You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is a new pen available from Narwhal. I picked this up at the Philadelphia Pen Show when I was there a few weeks ago, and uh, Narwhal provided this for review, along with a couple of inks that we will be seeing uh, later on. Comes in a very nice presentation box, kind of a hard mm, cardboard sort of situation, says Narwhal around it, has a Narwhal on it, and on the back, you have the sticker that says Navalur, which is their uh, you know, their recent rebranding, and then Navalur Original Plus Materia White. This is a pen that is limited edition, sort of. It comes in uh, sort of. I mean, it's limited edition, but it's a fairly large edition. There are 500 of each type of this pen. There is a white one and a black one, so there will be a thousand of these out in there in the world floating around. Comes in this nice little leatherette pouch, which is not bad at all. Pretty nice little presentation. Here is the Materia White. It also comes in a black version. You'll just have to imagine that because I don't have it. But that one has a black cap and black mm, vacuum filler knob down here. And that is called the Lovina Black. They were named after some beaches, I believe. Now, the outside of this pen, as you can see here, has the typical narwhal clip, which comes on a bunch of their pens, including this one, which is uh, Galen Leather. Um, a special edition or exclusive edition. This is a uh, piston filler, a very different sort of pen, uh, but it is different from the one that comes on the big old, uh, big old narwhal here that has just this like interesting cylindrical clip thing going on. But this is uh, this is a, this is kind of branding by itself. When I see this clip, I'm like, yeah, it looks like a narwhal. Now you have narwhal here on the cap band. Uh, twice going around there and then that's it like that's the only branding there's no name of the pen on this or anything you have a little rose gold finial button up here rose gold trims all around uh, it's a I think it's a pretty nice looking pen it's got a fair amount of weight to it. It's one of those uh, high quality plastics that feels hard and sturdy, which I dig and not, um, you know, it doesn't feel flimsy at all, this pen. When you unscrew the cap, you can see there is no cap liner in here, but I'll tell you, I've had this inked for a while now and I haven't had it dry out. And so that means that this must be working as intended and keeping your nib from drying out. Even though it doesn't have a cap liner, that screw must be, uh, you know, doing doing his job perfectly well. Now, you'll also notice this has a white plastic section with a bit of a flute to it. You can see it has a has a little bit of this action. And uh, uh, that keeps your fingers from going all the way down and touching the nib, which is nice because it is a smooth section. It's not slippery, I wouldn't say, but I do like this little lip. I think that's pretty nice. I was kind of worried about staining this when I went to fill it because as a vacuum filler, you have to put this in the ink in order to get it to fill. And so I was filling it up with something that is a bright magenta-y ink. This is Narwhal's um, what's it called? Orchid flower, I believe is what this one's called. And it's like a bright magenta pink. And I'm like, all right, we're going to put it in there and see what happens. If it's going to stain, it's going to stain. But it didn't. It wiped right off, as you'll see in the video that I'll show later about how to fill it. Here is the narwhal nib right here, which is made for them, I believe. This one is a fine. You can find the, the size marking right there, that little tiny F. That's right there, which you could mistake for the scroll work on there. I think that these nibs actually look pretty nice. I like this narwhal that's on there jumping out of the water. That's cool. I like the little bit of scrolls right there on the nib slit. I think that looks good. I dig it. Uh, and the nib is itself also rose gold, rose gold to match all the furnitures that you have going on with this pen. Then you'll notice that this is a vacuum filler and I will put uh, over here a little video of me filling this pen, but the way that you do it is you unscrew this here uh, knob and you pull it back and you can see actually this, you can see it because it is a demonstrator, see that right there. Now aside from this video here which is showing you how to fill it in ink, You'll also want to know that you should unscrew the back here, the finial, a bit when you're writing because if you don't, you can see right there, like that, it is sealing off the section up here. So no ink is going into the pen right now. So if you're flying with this or whatever, just lock that down and you're not going to have to worry about it burping or doing anything weird, just shooting ink into the cap or anything like that for pressure changes. Uh, but if you forget, it will run dry and you'll need to open that, uh, that tail cap up a little bit and let some ink get down to the section because otherwise it just won't write on you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's look at it next to some other pens. Let's do a quick writing sample and, uh, and away we'll go. 
All right, so here we have the Narwhal Original Plus next to the Narwhal from Galen Pens. I think this is just the Narwhal. I actually don't even know if this has a name. It's just the Narwhal pen. Uh, and they are about the same size. And you have the Custom 70 here, 74 here from Pilot. And then I threw in the Pilot Custom 823 because it is a little bit longer. And it is also one of the other vacuum fill pens that I have in my collection. This one and the Original Plus fill exactly the same way. So same filling system on these two, even though they're wildly different price ranges and, and all that jazz. And then here next to a few other pens you might recognize, we have the Pilot Prera, which is real small compared to it. The Twisby Eco, which is a bit shorter, and then a Lamy All-Star, or the same size, the Safari. I'm gonna go ahead and take the caps off of these real quick and uh, check out the stats page over here while I'm doing that. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty normal size when you uncap this thing. Uh, about the same size as both the Lamy and the Twisby. Maybe a touch shorter than either of those, and then a bit longer than the Prera. Although I gotta say, I always use the Prera with the cap posted, so how does that compare? Yeah, with the cap posted, the Prera is just a touch... Just a touch longer, and that's totally fine. So this, I think, is a perfectly cromulent length for a pen. It's got a nice uh, weight for the size and all that. Let's go ahead and put these caps back on and then do a bit of a writing sample, eh? Okay, here we have our Kakuyo soft ring notebook that I used to like to do my writing samples in and the Narwhal uh, Original Plus fountain pen here. Now this is a fine nib, so let's go ahead and see how it writes. And as you can see there, writes perfectly well. It's uh, a little bit maybe on the dry side, but not much at all, if any. I would just say it's not particularly wet. You can see it is shining on this paper here. Uh, this paper has a nice little bit of coating to it, so it'll take a minute for this to dry. But uh, I do like the way that it feels on here. It's got a nice smooth nib and uh, no problems there at all. Let me grab another couple of pens to show you writing samples from real quick. All right, so I just grabbed a couple of things here. So firstly, obviously, Narwhal Original Plus and the Fine, the 1.1 nib, which is quite a lot larger. You can definitely see the difference there. And then the Pilot Custom 74, which uses a medium nib in this case, which is a bit wider than the Original Plus. So yeah, it's a pretty standard Fine nib, I would say. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good one to write with. Now, this goes for, as you saw in the... Uh, in the stats page. This will go for $55 wherever you find Narwhal pens sold. And uh, as I said, there are only 500 of these in each color and they have been out for a little while. So supplies might be getting low. If you like the look of this pen, I would say go ahead and grab one at 55 bucks. Uh, this is a nice vacuum filler. It's got a good nib on it. There are several nib options available from fine up to uh, the, uh, the stub nib like this one and uh, I think this would make uh, this would make a good little gift for yourself or someone else that you're trying to get into fountain pens because this vac filler is cool and gives you all the flexibility of a bottle of ink without worrying about like converters and all that kind of thing so yeah pretty cool filling system nice looking pen I think it's fairly classy and it's got a good amount of weight to it so yeah pretty good all right check this out um, at your favorite narwhal vendor and I will see you in another video peace out